So first I will give you a very short overview of the situation before the next gen project. Uh, this area was uh, in a redevelopment uh, stage where it would be uh, regenerated and become one of the capital's main metropolitan parks. Uh, it comprises of four hectares of vegetation and it supplies all parts and green spaces of Athens with plant material. Uh, for irrigation, it, uh, before Next Gen Project, it used potable water from the EADAP network. And at the same time, in the same area, uh, pruning waste uh, have been accumulated in the site uh, that uh, form uh, an organic waste that had remained unused and untreated. Uh, this is uh, important because uh, at the same time in the nursery, of course, they use quite a lot of fertilizers. So the city seeks alternative solutions to address all the above issues. And in next gen, we decided to, uh, instead of uh, looking alone at each one of the solutions, to have them combined at the same time following a circular economy approach. Um, and actually, what we try to, try to do is to solve a more generic problem of um, issues that uh, emerge in cities with water scarcity issues. So uh, due to population growth and urbanization, the uh, economic crisis and of course climate change that creates reduction of water availability and uh, the deterioration of uh, the quality of water. So it is very clear to us that we need uh, innovative circular solutions uh, to, to address uh, these issues and we have focused mainly in the water reuse technologies that have become an attractive option for keeping resources within the uh, industrial and social systems for as long as possible, while at the same time we extract value from them. We need to, to develop um, uh, uh, solutions that have been uh, tested in real environments, that, are, that is uh, our main uh, purpose uh, through this project, uh, and have been assessed in terms of efficiency and performance and have been optimized, but also solutions that can be replicated in, in other environments and areas with different conditions. So we need, uh, in other words, uh, solutions that are autonomous, flexible and adaptable. So what have we done in the past uh, four years in the nursery? We have uh, designed and installed a sewer mining unit, which is practically a treatment plant in a container. Uh, this has been also implemented as a proof of concept before within the next design project in the premises of ADAP. And in, in this uh, technology, we uh, extract wastewater from the local sewers that run under the nursery, treat it directly on site and produce high quality water at the point of demand, which is uh, suitable for irrigation of the green areas, but also for groundwater recharge in the winter and other urban uses. So let's have a look at the process. Uh, initially, we have uh, installed a, a small pumping station with two pumps that uh, operate uh, alternately and extract the wastewater from the sewage pipe that runs at about four meters uh, below uh, the nursery. The raw sewage is transferred to a series of tanks and then it is treated uh, with, in the container with the MBR uh, technology, uh, additional biological treatment and UV disinfection processes. And then the water is ready for irrigation. The capacity of, the, um, of this unit is about 25 cubic meters per day. And the interesting thing is, of course, that it has limited dimensions and can be easily installed in uh, practically any uh, space of uh, urban uh, dense environments. Uh, and also that the treatment is done locally, so where the demand exists. So we use a resource that lies beneath every part of a city, as I said, to produce clean water and reduce the pressures that I referred uh, before. Uh, at this point, I will just give you a short uh, overview of the uh, measurements that we have been doing uh, the past one and a half year. The unit has been operational since April 2021. And uh, we have been, uh, ADAP actually has been uh, taking samples every week and uh, making analysis in their laboratories for a series of parameters 
and we can see here from these diagrams that even at the start period we had uh, a very high removal rates of the pollutants, more than uh, 90%, it's the great dots uh, on top. Uh, and uh, this indicates that uh, MBR is a very safe technology due to uh, the operational stability and the high performance it provides. Here we can see uh, also the uh, other parameters uh, in the steady state uh, period uh, until October. Actually, we have uh, even the last uh, uh, measurements added and uh, we can see that generally um, this, uh, uh, produ the, the produced water meets all the national and international criteria for unlimited irrigation and urban use. We can see that there is complete elimination in the, the organic load uh, and also reduction of the pathogenic microorganisms due to uh, the MBR treatment. Uh, we add no chemicals to avoid the production of secondary contaminants and there is a, a very uh, efficient UV, UV disinfection process uh, that we can see from the results that we have taken. As for the optimization uh, during the operation, uh, we, in general, we haven't enc encountered major issues or malfunctions of the unit as it uh, operated in a very stable way. Uh, so we focused mainly on increasing uh, the energy efficiency of the unit and we tried, uh, based on some testing and sampling and analysis, to um, modify the motor of the unit to, to be in intermediate operation. So we managed to reduce the uh, consumption of the energy at about 27%. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, noticed that the lifetime of the UV system is extended uh, when it is used in a manual mode rather than when it is used automatically. So if we move on to the solutions that we implemented for the materials, the idea was to use the sludge which is uh, mixed with available pruning to produce compost. So uh, the uh, process is uh, very straightforward. Initially we dehydrate the produced sludge uh, from uh, the unit that, and we put it in these filter bags that you see in the um, picture uh, below. Uh, and, um, we uh, then mix it with a processed pruning and, this, the, the, and then the mixer is fed up into the uh, rapid uh, composting unit. Uh, due to the uh, aeration, temperature and rotation of the mixture, the compost is produced in a, a short period of time, around two weeks, and then the compost uh, is available on site and uh, the capacity is about 100 kilos per week. As for the um, energy recovery solutions, we uh, recover heat from the wastewater to speed up the process of the compost, pro of the compost production. And this uh, equipment uh, is a heat exchanger and heat pump uh, that um, uh, the treated water actually passes uh, the heat exchanger unit raising its te temperature uh, and through pipes that surround the compost unit uh, produces additional thermal energy which is transferred around uh, the composting unit uh, and uh, uh, accelerates the process. This is uh, used uh, in the cold season when uh, uh, we need this additional heat. Uh, so uh, the, uh, we have generated about uh, 126 kilowatt hour, uh, hours per day as thermal energy. Uh, I would just like to mention also uh, something uh, very important and uh, a key uh, factor in our um, uh, work there and uh, uh, thank uh, the city of Athens that has done a great job in uh, the landscape of, of the surrounding environment uh, by creating a series of gardens uh, that surrounded the technologies and actually used the reclaimed water produced by the, the sewer mining unit but also uh, the compost for direct application. We will have the chance to visit it tomorrow in the site uh, visit in the in the in the site uh, and uh, see the work that has been done. And to sum up, I would just like to list some of the benefits of the solutions that we have uh, um, 
implement it. Uh, as I told you, we, the, the technology fits into a container, so it has a very small footprint, making it uh, very practical for uh, implementing it in, in various parks of, a, of an urban environment. Uh, and it has proven to be stable in operation and treatment efficiency uh, as it uh, produces high quality water for irrigation. Um, of course, it's obvious that it reduces wastewater flows and um, transport costs and uh, drinking water demand, which is uh, uh, very important for protecting the natural resources. Uh, we also have noticed that it is um, rich in uh, nutrients, the, the produced water, which uh, has a positive effect on plants and uh, generally the bi biodiversity of the local ecosystems. And the unit can be, as we've uh, demonstrated, combined with the production of compost locally on the site. Uh, as uh, it is quite obvious, it has a very high repl replication potential and it can be implemented in uh, uh, many uh, uh, and, and be flexible and be implemented in various uh, places of one city. And it enhances the resilience to climate change, especially for the uh, arid urban environments such as the cities uh, in the Med. As for the future challenges that we have thought and we would very much like to implement a full-scale project uh, um, in uh, uh, the city of Athens but also elsewhere and uh, we need to keep in mind that we can combine this technology with other similar purpose technologies and a very important uh, parameter that we are working on and now is the prospect of continuation of this pilot project and we are in collaboration with the municipality of Athens and the ADAP to, uh, to, to this direction. Um, we are thinking of having this as a reference point for any extension of projects uh, uh, of these technologies. Um, and finally, a very uh, uh, important factor for us, and we have done that through NextGen, but we uh, hope to, um, to extend it even further, is to engage with uh, the public and um, uh, work on the public acceptability of this kind of technologies, and uh, also with the stakeholders and the comp competent bodies uh, that they adapt this um, uh, the solutions as uh, their uh, main um, uh, business, uh, as we've mentioned before. It's, it's very important to, to see them uh, as a, a, a normal way of uh, using uh, and recycling water uh, in, the, in the city. So, uh, as the next step, as I told you, we are uh, working on the continuation of the pilot, but also we would very much like to engage stakeholders and make uh, this pilot a living lab. I think I will stop here. Uh, thank you so much for, um, uh, for your attention. I would also like to uh, show you a video that has been created from the uh, city of Athens uh, on the, uh, the gardens and the surrounding environment and we will have the chance uh, tomorrow also to visit it, uh, uh, to visit all the technologies. Thank you. Thank you.